Grace writes, and again, if you have a question, write the word question or buy a super sticker. Uh, question, what message is a man sending me when he is off and on with, communi uh, with communication? The few dates we've had have been really communicative, but then gets quiet. His penis has not met my vagina yet. Yay, Grace. <laughs> Okay, this is a very natural thing for many people to do. Let me, or, or let me say, this experience is not uncommon. First off, everybody, can we agree? We're meeting total strangers today. We're meeting total strangers. When you go on a 90%, almost 90% of all first dates these days is happening through an online connection. The organic way of meeting is becoming the thing of the past. It's just not happening as much. By the way, I made up the number, but it just seems really obvious today, especially with the pandemic. So when you meet a total stranger, someone you know nothing about, it takes time to get comfortable with someone to be. So our communication could be one moment we could be a man or woman could be craving uh, femininity or masculinity. It could be craving. Let me reframe that. Feminine. OK, I want to actually I'm going to stop right here and explain something because I know a lot of you are hung up on the terms masculine and feminine energy. Let me just differentiate. Masculine energy is doing and feminine energy is receiving. Let me repeat that. And by the way, every human should be operating from a place of giving and receiving, giving and receiving, giving and receiving. A really healthy person is like a yin yang sign. They have a combined capacity, both give and receive. That's what an emotionally healthy person is. It's not masculine or feminine. It's actually an integration of being able to give or receive. Now, I just said something. Men seek femininity. And what that means to say is they seek women that they can talk to because men rarely can talk to their male friends about their emotions, about their problems. We're not allowed to talk about our emotions and problems with our male friends. So men gravitate to women that femininity simply because we know you have a capacity to listen to our problems. So a lot of men in the dating realm are simply trying to fill a hole inside of them. This is why I highly recommend checking out the book, Codependent No More, Codependent No More. Men and women alike are suckling, sucking on the nipple of dependency. So why he's hot and cold is one moment he needs your feminine energy and the next moment he doesn't need it so he doesn't communicate. This is why it takes time to build the roots, the deep roots of trust in a relationship so you can actually be able to bond with one another. This is why I say this in my coaching practice. I teach you those, those, those questions to ask to build the roots of commitment, the roots of trust. And this is why it's happening, because you're just a stranger to him, Grace. It takes about 100 hours of face-to-face -face time. It takes about 100 hours of face-to-face -face time to really get to know a person at level one, at level one. And think about it. So how much, you know, 100 hours, and by the way, that doesn't include uh, sleeping in the same bed. That time doesn't count. I'm talking 100 hours of face-to-face -face time doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, and maybe even spending time with family and friends. That's how you build the first layer of trust. And so until that's been built, people are going to be wishy-washy. I know you've been sold on this narrative that men are chivalrous and they're just supposed to claim you and all you have to do is sit back in your feminine energy and these men will do all the work. That's a crock of shit. Yes, that does happen, but a very small percentage of the time. And you got to differentiate between the guys that are driven by lust and limerence versus those guys who are actually going to lean into a healthy, happy relationship. So my hope is, um, I answered your question on this one as to why men go quiet. And again, this happens because you're both strangers to one another. Has this helped? I hope so.